Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. There are big moves happening in the sky and it is a blue moon month, which means that the month will begin on a full moon and end on a full moon as well, just in time for Halloween. And both of these full moons have powerful energy to them of things changing, in some cases very quickly. So the full moon that is going to be taking place as we begin the month right out of the gate is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound and meaningful change, self-honesty, transformation. It is also related to your relationship to financial institutions. And so it is going to be happening hand in hand with Chiron in the sky, which does suggest a heightened sense of vulnerability and emotionality that much more. For some, this can be a truly meaningful time when you are more deeply honest with yourself and you feel changed in some way. Some Virgos may feel reborn as well. And this may be a time when you are considering more deeply where it is that you have been and where it is now that as a result of the work you've put in, you now are ready to start a different and more empowered chapter going forward from here. But for others, this is going to be related to having to deal with money matters, uh, financial matters. And the good thing is, is that when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. But with energy like this, either you are going to have to do more in order to have things come together in a way pleasing to you, or it can also be the case that there is some extraordinary statement of generosity, letting you know that the universe and perhaps other people as well, and whether that's financial, whether that's emotional or spiritual, you are certainly feeling like the universe has your back in some way. And so if it is that there are financial matters that need to be attended to, they are going to show up. There's not a whole lot you need to do. And again, just do what's in front of you to do. And remember, this is energy of prosperity. In fact, I would say that is going to be a big theme for almost the entire month for you at this time. And so if it is that something comes up, you address it, you deal with it, you show up for it, and things will come together for you. As we navigate to the middle of the month, that is when we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is going to be speaking in a conversation of tension with a triple conjunction that we have happening. Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are all moving close in the sky right about now. And it is this new moon that's happening in a part of the sky that is also financial, but it has to do with money you earn, money that you spend. Not all Virgos out there are going to experience this on financial fronts. It may also be connected to self-esteem and self-worth. And this does represent a time when it may feel frustrating, it may feel uncertain. And I'm so sorry to say that, but again, I want to remind you, when it is that there is such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. It's just that under a sky like this, it may feel like you have to put in that much more attention or time or effort to make it come together. Sometimes under this energy, it can feel as if there are certain expenses that must be met. Now, regardless of what does transpire, it is going to be by doing what's in front of you to do that you will find a way to navigate this time. And moments like this ultimately help you to understand that there is something within you that you can trust and something within you that can turn just about any situation around and where it is that you need to demonstrate a healthy sense of self-esteem or self-love it is going to be this new moon energy that helps you to do just that. As we navigate to the very end of the month, that is when we will have another full moon, just in time for Halloween, happening hand in hand with Uranus. Lots of surprise energy around at this time. This is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. It has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, and things could change very quickly under this energy. 
because it is a full moon, things tend to come to a close. So if you've been engaged in a legal matter, for example, that could close rather quickly. If it is that you have been pursuing a particular path in terms of higher education, you may find changes on that front come very quickly for you as well. Perhaps you'll change your major. For some of you, this shift is going to be more philosophical, more personal. And in that case, it is in an instant, you are seeing the world in a very different way for a small percentage of you out there. This might even be a sense of conversion of some kind that takes place for you at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that is the very good news this month that I'm so delighted to tell you. It is going to be on the 2nd of October that Venus will enter your sign and be there for most of the month, right to the 28th. And so you are going to have a nice long stay of almost four weeks here, a feeling as if you are a magnet. It makes life in general, outside of love, just feel that much easier to move through. But then you add to it, Venus is the goddess of love and it helps you to feel that much more loved as well. Now, before we dive into love as well, I do want to mention Venus in your sign tends to be a really nice time to do things like enjoy your earthly incarnation. Uh, if you are a person who likes to change your hair color, <laughs> like I have in the past, um, if you are a person who likes to uh, do things like buy clothes, this can be a lovely time to engage in that. We do have Mercury retrograde uh, this month. Mercury does go retrograde in the middle of the month. So you do want to be a little bit careful with that in terms of going in brand new directions. But for all that, we do have beautiful energy that does say you are enjoying being you that much more. But in the context of love, if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, I love Venus in your sign. It helps you to feel like a magnet, like that much easier love is able to show up up for you and it isn't about you going out there and being active with it you being you moving through life of course is able to attract some lovely experiences for those of you who have just started to date somebody Venus in your sign can help you to feel like you have options can help you to feel that much more loved and adored so if it is that things are working out with this person then that sense will only accelerate at this time as you start to feel more loved if it is that you are uncertain with this person, well, it should be that there are other options that do show up for you at this time. And for those of you in an established bond, this can be a powerful time as well, where it feels that much easier to get along, to move through life with this person that you love and to feel that much more support. It can feel that much easier now to be loved, to be adored and to feel like the relationship is moving that much smoother also. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's got to be Venus moving into your sign. It really is a brand new chapter in the context of love and self-love as well for you. It is going to be this sky that does encourage you to tap into a more beautifying spirit. And that includes being willing to see your life with eyes of love and to see yourself with eyes of beauty. And it is by tapping into your own unique sense of worthiness that some of the more memorable and beautiful moments this month transpire. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.